I ask me to read. Well, so anyway, um, another problem of Algernon is uh, that its graphics are not good. And I mean, they're really not good. It's I like games made by smaller companies normally because often they try something new and so I dislike bashing games. But um, the graphics of Algernon are really not good. Like they ain't really shadow and this guy looks bad and the texture have low quality and uh, everything has very few polygons. So I'm not sure what they thought when they released the game recently. I mean graphics don't mean anything. Just think about Age of Conan which has really great graphics and is not that great e anyway. So but still graphics do have an impact to some degree. And another problem of Algernon is that very few people play it. And uh, I pl tried that beta and played over like four days or something. Uh, not beta, but the trial version of Algernon and all in all I meet um, three people over four days. Which is... Uh, doesn't make much sense then in a multiplayer game. So, if you're looking for a WoW clone and um, don't expect, don't want good graphics or maybe something like that, then you can give it a try, I guess. After all, the trial version is for free, but the design and function of the transmission is critical to any motor. Uh, either that's the book stuff. Gather materials to build the ATV control system. Um, well, we have most of that already. Also, Algernon is very easy, like it has the typical WoW combat. And um, in the beginning, the game is that easy that it's two button push combat. Like you press one button to select an enemy, you press another button for auto hit or auto shoot and then you wait until the combat is over. Later of course it gets probably more complex, but I doubt that it gets really um, interesting in matters of combat. But if you want um, maybe a simple game and have some money to burn and like generic fantasy MMORPGs, then you can still give it a try I guess. I wouldn't mind the game to succeed. I, after all, there are uh, probably people behind it who try to make a good game or something. And I dislike games failing in general. But I wouldn't buy Ergonon for friends for a present or something. So let's see what do we need. Copper. We have a lead. There we are, um, there's copper. And we need gears. Well, we took apart enough cars on the way. Now that you've gather gathered the materials, you recall the complex diagrams explaining how to shape the steel and attach the gears of the transmission. And we got more advancements points and another um, sub-level. Construct a transmission. Uh, that will take us four hours. Well, that's quite some time. Mm, I guess I could wait and launch it later when I um, log out, but... Well... Who okay, cares? So I'll do that now. Oh, no, I don't. I wanted to color the jacket. Um, armor jacket. Do I want it to be look normal or camouflage? 
What do I need? Probably brown and green colors. Yeah. I have orange, purple, yellow, red, <laughs> blue. Well, are you kidding me? Why can't I mix them together? Uh. What do you need? Anything else? No, just brown and green. One of these. One of these. Oh, and I should probably continue taking apart those cleavers I made. Now oh, that will take a while with the ATV. So let's see what next. Uh, armored and dangerous. Deliver Shannon Ozul's shipment to viral. Well, that guy is not too far away. Let me just... Switch off the flash on new message. wonder why in the graphics you can't activate anti-aliasing and advanced pose FX at the same time. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Seriously, even with the anti-aliasing turned off, having played Algonon for a few days makes me enjoy the graphics on Fallen Earth even more. That sounds harsh, but it's just true. Strong new armor is always welcome. Tell Sylvia that Skyheight will be needing more wooden poles too. Uh, the jacket is finished. Uh, I guess I'll wave it. Wait with viewing it until I've colored it. A bunch of people say the game is really picking up um, here for on Earth when you um, reach the second sector and join a faction and stuff. I don't know that yet my um, other character is in the second sector, but I haven't played um, him for a while because I want to wait until this um, character is at about the same level and then decide which one to level on. But I'm curious about that, so I will try to get to um, a high enough level to travel to the second sector rather quickly. It would be faster if I wouldn't um, craft, I guess, but I enjoy crafting too much to um, stop doing it. But I won't do some of the quests that would make sense, but just Maybe take far too long. Other. I'll talk to you later. Let me tell you something. Shannon tells me that you're quite the crafter. That's good because we need as many fabricators as we can get right now. <laughs> 